Well, the Centers for Disease Control tells us that heart disease is a leading cause of death in the United States. We all know someone with heart problems, but some of those issues can be overcome. Nobody inspires that more than Phil Dana, whose message is you only have one. Phil Dana is a husband, father, grandfather, and friend. God is so gracious to me. Phil retired from the military where he was an army helicopter pilot for 20 years. An all around good guy with a strong Christian based testimony. If somebody's in my position, uh, maybe they're not taking care of themselves, kind of helping uh, get on the right track, or if they've gone down the road is like I have and they're in a situation where they have a heart problem, um, just keep working at it, don't give up. He's talking about his heart health or at one time, lack of it. Well, my case was, I didn't, didn't have any idea. The need of a triple bypass stunned Phil, especially since he spent his life on cholesterol medicine. But I found out I was a foodaholic. I just eat anything I wanted to eat, and uh, I got kind of hefty. Phil had what's called a widow maker. He didn't have symptoms. One day he just felt bad and decided to go to the ER, then to the cath lab. They showed me a picture of my uh, left main artery and it looked like a bowling pin. Uh, and so the doctor said, well, I can send you home or uh, you might get you in tomorrow for a bypass. <laughs> there was no other option except good doctors and a giving God. Everybody was in place for everything to happen right, right at the right time. Things moved fast. If I can do it, anybody can. The surgery paid off. I feel wonderful. I, I can do a lot more than I used to. Everybody that saw me after that said that I was kind of pale before, but now my color was back. I was looking good. After five <laughs> days, he was ready and able to get out and start a healthier life. They told me in the hospital if I could walk 400 steps, I could go home. So I, I think I walked 500. <laughs> when it comes to heart health, staying ahead of the game is important. Dr. Joseph Graham is a cardiothoracic surgeon at Southeast Health Medical Center. There are several things that cause uh, progressive heart disease. One of those factors is heart disease can be hereditary. If that's the case, you need to pay attention to your weight, whether you have propensity of sugar or fatty foods in your diet. Another common factor he sees is people who have type 2 diabetes. Over a long period of time don't have chest pain. They will get short of breath and not really know what that means and they're delayed seeing their physicians. Unlike Phil's case, people can experience early symptoms when it comes to heart trouble. If you are experiencing this, seek medical attention. If you have a bout of chest pain that causes you to perspire significantly, you would immediately be uh, used to contact a physician. Dr. Graham stresses the importance of having a heart healthy diet staying active by striving to get outside and reach a certain amount of steps each day. And another note, he advises you to quit smoking. He tells me smoking is not only a known carcinogen, but it is also known to cause arterial disease in your body, including your heart.